In the last episode of Round Sailing, you got to see us sailing in strong trade winds in the San Blas. Then we island hopped our way to the Lemon Keys, where I got bitten by a dog. We made a few miles northeast to eastern Lemon Keys and anchored close to the island Banedoop. This is the busiest anchorage we've seen in San Blas. And strangely, it was full of Italian boats, which is something we haven't seen much elsewhere. Most boats here do charter, bringing guests on board and cruising around the archipelago. And Banedoop is a starting place for many boats. Just after we arrived, this boat came in with a broken mast. The crew quickly got help, and they cut the mast off, and from what we understood, then went out to sea again and dumped it in deeper water. We don't know what happened, as there were so many people already going to the boat and looking, but clearly something must have got very wrong. The eastern Lemon Keys consists of several islands connected by reefs and one big outer reef protecting from the ocean swell. The water is mostly very shallow, but there are some channels where the water is a little bit deeper and boats can go through. Did you know that Gunayala has 365 islands in total? So you can actually visit one each day of the year. The Gunas go out to the outer reef to fish and catch lobsters. And they told us how exhausting it is when the wind is this strong. Pancakes for dinner. But you're part of this world. One mile or so southwest of Banadoop lays Dog Island. It is famous for the wreck that lies submerged a few meters from the beach. The wreck is what remains of a cargo ship, whose captain in the 50s decided to beach it, due to an engine failure to save the rum they were transporting. Nowadays it's colonized by corals and fish, and it was great fun to snorkel around and inside it.
On the island to the right of Ron, you can buy homemade bread and coconuts. Unfortunately, they were out of bread when we came, and the men that opened the coconuts weren't there either. Then we asked if we could open them ourselves, and that was okay. It turned out to be easier said than done, though. Okay. Mas fácil. Finally, a guy came to the rescue and showed us how it's supposed to be done. Time had come for Christmas, and we spent it like the Gunas with grilled lobsters together with our Swedish friends. Before sailing away from the Gunayala, we went to Chichime, the island furthest northwest in the Gulf. We spent the night here before our sail to Linton Bay the next day, a passage of 44 nautical miles. Cruising in Gunayala has been a real experience. We've been able to see a completely different culture and have got an insight in the Guna people and how they live. Sailing here has been challenging, with all the reefs and shallows, but very rewarding. The nature in Gunayala is so beautiful and diverse, with lush jungle and palm tree covered islands. We're happy that we started all the way southeast, because we got to see so much more of Gunayala. We live with much happiness inside, but we really hope that the Comarca of Gunayala and the Panamanian government bring more awareness to the trash handling because the lack of taking care of the trash here and the lack of knowledge how it affects their beautiful nature was shocking to see. It was a windy day and the waves had built up from the strong trade winds that had been blowing for the last 10 days. The waves really build up here since they travel across the Caribbean Sea and this is the end station. So we're sailing to Puerto Lindo from San Blas. I don't like this sailing at all. The waves are so big. We had, uh, I think, two breaking over the boat. Nothing too major, but some water in here in the cockpit. It's going fast. The fastest we went was 10 knots when we were surfing down, down the wave.
came on in. So a couple of miles ahead there's a shallow patch reef. It's uh, two meters deep. Avoid that, so we try to yeah go a bit higher now uh, for the next eight eight miles. We sailed by our sailor friends on the catamaran sugar shack. So which island in San Blas are we heading to now? And they had a much harder sail than us, going against a strong wind. Strange how the color changes, right? If I say it to you. So we're closing in on uh, Isla Linton or Linton Bay, I think it's called too. We're going to anchor on the other side of this island. And there's also a marina over there. Um, yeah, some people say it's very rolly in there because uh, the swell is going straight in. But we'll see. On the chart, it looks pretty protected. But right now, the swell is very big so we'll see the sailing today has been good uh, I don't know it's been fast I think we've been doing 6.8 7 knots in average almost the whole day so that's great The wind has come down, now we have 14 to 15 knots and the water has a strange color, it's uh, light green. Yeah, it changed quite a lot, yeah. but it's still pretty deep so I don't know why. That's true. Our usual luck having a squall exactly at the timing when you want to make a jibe and uh, change course. It's 
So that's Stankbridge we're going to. Looks pretty okay. There's some swell here, but uh, it's better in there. It felt very good to arrive and drop the anchor and be in a boat that's not moving. Thank you for watching and join us next week when we go over our engine and find monkeys in Isla Linton. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos.